Hey all you beautiful makeup babes, it's just Belle and Yue here. Today is an Ulta haul, and most of these products I have literally been dying to try. I tried getting a full face for another wow. fun video. Except for certain products such as brows and mascara. Products like that I will literally never spend a certain amount of money on. And I wanted to do a little bit of first impressions. And at work they did give me two different foundation samples. I honestly loved both of these, but the only thing is, is the discount didn't apply for oh. Chanel products. So that's when I bought me a full size of the MAC Studio Fix. And I have literally never ever used any MAC products, so this is pretty fun to me. Tell me why I'm obsessed with this packaging. Yes, I see the tester all the time, but it's without the lid. And is it a twist? Oh my god. You stupid. It's a twist. Sorry, MAC. Wait, what? I'm actually confused. Because of my work, the testers have pumps. So I don't know if you are supposed to buy the pumps separately for this or if that's just for the testers, but whatever, we're moving on. And now for a powder bronzer because I'm not really into contour. Literally everything on the prestige side, I tried swatching and they were all turning orange on me. So I was honestly kind of stumped for a bronzer and then I came across the MAC. I also picked up the shade Refined Golden. So let me just show you what it looks like. I know everyone's probably familiar with MAC, it's literally an OG, but I'm not, and this is so brand new to me, and I'm really excited. And now for blush, we have another MAC product. But y'all, when I tell y'all I have literally been eyeing this blush forever, I'm not kidding. So if you're not familiar, this is their Glow Play Blush in Blush Please. Like, that's the whole reason why I wanted it. And now moving on to a concealer, there is a lot that I really wanna try, but they don't have a really light shade for me. Y'all know I'm here for that brightening look. But I did find one and I got the mini because your girl was being a little cheap on this option. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Chantley or Light One. Okay, what? The entire bottle is mostly a lid and like such little product? That's a scam. And for this next makeup product, this is the one I have wanted the most out of all of these products. And waited the longest too. Because girl, it is $30 for a powder? Mm -mm. On my bro girl days, I literally would never. Next two products I really wasn't in need of, but I definitely needed them for the look. So I picked me up an Urban Decay lip liner and this is in shade Rush. But I actually really did like this color and it feels hydrating so I'm hoping it's a hydrating liquid lipstick. This is their Melted Matte in shade My Type. My Type, My Type, My Type. So let's open these babies up. We gotta get the influencer shot once again. Like I feel like it's a really pretty color especially with this lip liner so let me show you the lip liner, okay? One sec. Okay, let's open this lip liner Rush because I'm in a rush. Like, for real. Oh, cute. It's giving, but I kind of hate that it's a sharpenable one, but it's okay. And for the last product, it's really nothing crazy, but it is a part of the haul, so I really want to show you anyways, and I'm really excited about it. <sighs> I've always had really large pores in my T-zone, but I've noticed them around my entire face, and I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool or happy with that. And everyone in my work was like, try this, try this. So, girl, I'm going to try it. This is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. And I'm not gonna lie, I did try it last night after I got off work. And it actually made my face feel really soft, so I hope it does wonders for these pores, baby. Okay, I'm back with the spa conceal and the brows and all that good stuff. And if you thought I was gonna use this foundation on camera, you're crazy. Why would I waste a sample? And honestly, I kind of just thought about it right now. This one's not gonna really be first impressions, but it will be on camera because I've only tried it one time and I absolutely loved it, so that's why I bought it. And honestly, this shade is just a little too dark. Not by a long shot, but I can definitely tell. At this point, I don't even care because I love the foundation that much. And first to blend out my foundation, I always use a dense brush and just kind of like stipple the product in. The only downfall about this foundation is it does smell a little weird, but honestly, I can get past it once it's dry. After with a dense brush, that's when I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and just kind of finishing it up. Like, I don't know, something about this foundation has me in a hold because it's literally so beautiful. But now for the real first impression, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am so excited to try this out. I have heard so many good things. Literally everyone buys it, everyone uses it. But honestly, the concealer is nothing like super crazy for me, but it's a really nice 
nice finish. I'll give it that. Now moving on to the MAC bronzer. I definitely have to watch myself with this. Okay, a big hit is that it is blending out like a dream. And honestly, I really love this color. Okay, literally, I'm loving the way this face is turning out. Now to move on to one of my favorite, well, hopefully favorite products. Use my fingers at first and just kind of like tap it on. <gasps> Oh wait, this is actually gonna be, this is going to be so pretty, oh my god. Stop, why am I this excited? I'm just using the back end of my beauty blender to help blend this out. I hate blending stuff out with my fingers. Like you can tell it's a blush, but it's also very natural and not like in your face. Okay babes, the time has come for the powder. I can't even tell you how much I'm excited for this. This better change my life because it seems like it changes everyone's life. So I expect the same and if it doesn't work out, um, babe, I'm returning her and I'm just gonna stick to my Maybelline for me. I'm just gonna like tap that in very evenly. It better change my life. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I went ahead and set both of my under eyes. Honestly, I'm not seeing like a crazy huge difference between like other powders. So I went ahead and finished up the eyes off camera because I'm in a rush. And speaking of rush, we're going to use that lip liner. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with this lip liner. It's super creamy and look at the color. Finishing it off with that liquid lipstick and I really love this color too. And here is the final look. I think out of all these products, I would rebuy them all except for the concealer and maybe the powder. I can definitely say that the MAC foundation and blush was absolutely worth every penny but of course I want to know what you guys think of this look and have you tried any of these products also let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this and of course I got to be like all the influencers make sure you like and subscribe if I could I would give you a big old hug but I can't do that so I'll blow you a kiss well that's pretty much it I hope you all have a very happy holiday and catch you later